Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head men's basketball coach Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, you're about six games in the season so far. Um, things going pretty well, you know, one and loss wise. Uh, five and one, coming off a big win on Saturday against Lycoming. Uh, just kind of talk a little bit about how the season's gone so far. Well, uh, we had a, a tough one against Scranton to open up, yeah. um, and they're one of the better teams, um, I think, in the country. Yeah. Um, and, and again, going back and watching that film, we really had uh, a 10-minute spurt that, that uh, was to our detriment. And um, we were able to, to go back and cut that tape and, and really evaluate some of the things that we did really well and some of the things that obviously we needed to, to correct. And uh, moving forward, we have uh, improved in, in a lot of the areas that uh, were a, a concern and a challenge for us. Yeah. And obviously, um, you know, one of the uh, things with playing in a, in a nine-team conference is you started conference play already. Um, started last week with two wins, got a big win on the road uh, Wednesday night at Lebanon Valley. And then uh, we're down 14 against Lycoming on Saturday. We are able to come back, force overtime, and then win in overtime. So um, you have to be happy with how the conference play has started for you guys. I am. Uh, conference is, is always... Um... Uh, it, it seems like it goes down to one or two games that separate uh, seven uh, teams for, yeah. for five spots in the postseason, and, and sometimes even eight. Or eight. Um, yeah. So it, it, these games are critical, and um, we were able to um, uh, play uh, uh, well enough to win at, at uh, Lebanon Valley. Um, and, and then uh, Lycoming, uh, really, really uh, tough outfit. Um, and, and gave us obviously everything that we could uh, handle and, and more, um, but we were able to uh, uh, get a um, uh, an opportunity to extend the game and, and get into overtime and and uh, made just enough plays. Yeah, and you talk about how it comes down to one or two games, but it seems like so many games in the conference come down to one or two plays. And certainly both games you've been involved with, you know, obviously you know at the end of regulation, you know, Q doesn't. A, get fouled shooting the three, or misses the three and doesn't get fouled, or doesn't make all three free throws. Obviously, we're talking about one and one instead of two and oh. So, not only does the conference hinge on one or two games, but some of these games come down to one or two possessions, one or two plays. Yeah, the parity is, is unbelievable in the conference. And, and, and you see that um, in a lot of conferences, but you don't see it year after year after yep. year. Um, you can. Um, uh, play the entire conference again and again and again, and you would get uh, uh, a different um, uh, team um, at the top, and yeah. probably um, throughout the, the standings, you would get um, uh, teams that would finish in different places. Yeah. Um, one or two possessions um, ultimately determines whether you're playing in the conference tournament or not. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just kind of looking at some of my top performers. You know, obviously Montague Wright. He's coming and had you know a great start to his Mustang career. Um, one guy I think has really improved a lot is uh, Mark Terrell. Obviously, he's done a lot of work in the offseason, and uh, he's really come back and really been a force on the inside. Yeah, it's nice to see a guy like Mark uh, put in the work and then get rewarded for it. And, and uh, it's really been all him. It's, yeah. it's um, uh, a testament to uh, what he did in the spring and the summer and, and uh, his commitment to in improving uh, um, every facet, whether it be his body or, or, or his game. And, yeah. Um, he's been uh, uh, critical for us uh, in a number of ways. Uh, not only the, the points on the interior, but um, he, he's, a, he's a good passer. He's a, a guy that um, you have to account for on both ends of the floor. And, and Montague has uh, uh, given us um, a, a real lift. You know, he's a guy that's versatile because he can um, get to the basket. He's, he's uh, effective uh, as a jump shooter. Uh, a three-level score, and and uh, and we needed every one of his uh, yeah. points on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, and he just don't give you scoring, but he gives you a little bit of everything, a little re uh, rebounding, some assists, um, some defense. So he does a little bit of everything, which I think kind of helps. Yeah, he does. He's a guy that uh, uh, can beat you in a lot of different ways. Um, last week he had a, a double-figure game on the backboard um, against Lebanon Valley, um, and then. Um, uh, coming into that game as assist to turnover ratio is excellent. So um, he's a guy that um, is invaluable to us, as I said, uh, along with Mark and, and others, um, in what uh, they provide not only in one column, uh, Greg, but able to um, pre-meet our program uh, with play on both ends of the floor. Yeah, absolutely. All right, um, you know, just, uh, 
stretch. You've got three or four games now before the holidays, a little bit of a break there. But uh, we include two conference games, um, two more games at home this week. Um, you're home against Cabrini Tuesday night, and then uh, another conference game with Albright on Saturday. So what are you looking at this for out of this next little stretch of games to continue to try to improve? Well, I'm a stay-in-the-moment guy, uh, Greg, and I try not to get too far down the road. Obviously, uh, we've got our hands full with one of the Mid-Atlantic region's best uh, uh, teams in Cabrini, an MCA tournament team last year, 25-4. and four. So uh, that has my full attention. Yep. Um, and then um, uh, once, uh, once the game is over, then we'll work back to conference play. Uh, but uh, uh, there's no... Uh, uh, rest with the worry. You know this is uh, this is the time that, that uh, you're going to play rigorous competition, whether it be in conference or out. And, and uh, I'm anxious to see uh, the growth of our team and the improvement that we've made um, since the Lycoming contest. And it's it's a tough start for us. There's yeah. no question about that. I mean, we we open conference play at the defending conference champion, yeah. um, and then. Uh, uh, we we see Albright, uh, the the team that they played for the conference championship uh, uh, a week later. So yeah. so obviously uh, uh, we have our attention uh, squarely on Cabrini, but we understand the, the mission and, and and we understand what's what's uh, in front of us. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, um, you know, thanks for your time as always, and um, good luck. You know, this next little stretch, and we'll chat soon. Thank you, Greg. All right, for Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.